What Causes Skin Diseases? Skin diseases can have various causes, and the specific cause of a skin condition depends on the type of disease. Here are some common factors and causes associated with skin diseases. Infections Many skin diseases are caused by infectious agents, including bacteria, for example, Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. Viruses, example, herpes simplex virus, human papillomavirus, and fungi, example, congida, dermatophytes. These infections can result in conditions such as impetigo, cold sores, warts, and fungal skin infections like athlete's foot. Allergies, allergic reactions to various substances, such as certain foods, medications, cosmetics, or plants, example, poison ivy, poison oak, can lead to skin diseases like contact dermatitis and hives, urticaria. Autoimmune disorders. Autoimmune skin diseases occur when the immune system mistakenly targets and damages healthy skin cells. Conditions like psoriasis, pemphigus vulgaris, and systemic lupus erythematosus SLE, fall into this category. Genetics Some skin diseases have a genetic component, meaning they are inherited from one's parents. Examples include epidermolysis bullosa, EB, harlequin ichthyosis, and some types of ichthyosis. Environmental factors Prolonged exposure to certain environmental factors, such as ultraviolet, UV, radiation from the sun or tanning beds, can lead to skin damage and increase the risk of skin cancers like basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma. Hormonal changes, hormonal fluctuations, such as those that occur during puberty, pregnancy, or menopause, can influence the development of skin conditions like acne or melasma. Stress, high levels of stress can exacerbate or trigger skin conditions like eczema or psoriasis. Medications, some medications can cause adverse skin reactions as side effects. Stevens-Johnson syndrome, SJS, and toxic epidermal necrolysis, DEN, are severe skin conditions that can be triggered by certain medications. Chemical irritants, exposure to harsh chemicals or irritants in soaps, detergents, cleaning agents, or industrial chemicals can lead to contact dermatitis. Systemic diseases Skin manifestations can be a symptom of underlying systemic diseases, such as diabetes, kidney disease, or liver disorders. Inherited disorders Certain inherited metabolic disorders, like porphyria, can lead to skin symptoms when specific substances accumulate in the body. Unknown causes in some cases, the exact cause of a skin disease may remain unknown, making diagnosis and treatment more challenging. It's important to note that some skin diseases have multifactorial causes, where a combination of genetic, environmental, and other factors contributes to their development. Proper diagnosis by a healthcare professional is crucial to determine the underlying cause and appropriate treatment for a skin condition. Additionally, preventive measures such as sun protection and avoiding known allergens or irritants can help reduce the risk of certain skin diseases. What are the symptoms of skin diseases? The symptoms of skin diseases can vary widely depending on the specific condition and its underlying cause. However, some common symptoms and signs that may be associated with various skin diseases include Rash, a rash is a noticeable change in the color, texture, or appearance of the skin. Rashes can present as red, raised, flat, or bumpy patches, and they may be itchy, painful, or irritated. Itching, pruritus. Many skin conditions are accompanied by itching, which can range from mild to severe and may interfere with daily activities. Redness, erythema, skin affected by inflammation often becomes red or flushed. The degree of redness can vary depending on the condition's severity. Swelling, edema, Swelling or edema can occur as a result of inflammation or fluid buildup in the skin and underlying tissues. Some skin diseases, such as herpes simplex or pemphigus, may cause the formation of fluid-filled blisters on the skin or mucous membranes. Scaling and peeling Conditions like psoriasis and eczema can lead to the development of dry, scaly, or flaky skin that may peel or crack pain or discomfort. 
Skin diseases can be associated with discomfort, pain, or a burning sensation. Especially when the skin is affected by ulcers, open sores, or infection. Ulcers are open sores on the skin that may be painful and can occur in conditions like venous ulcers or pyoderma gangrenosum. Skin discoloration. Skin diseases may cause changes in skin color, such as the development of dark or light patches, red or purple lesions, or areas of hypopigmentation, loss of pigment, lesions or lumps. Skin lesions can include nodules, papules, pustules, or cysts, which may be raised or palpable beneath the skin surface. Dryness or cracking. Dry and cracked skin can occur in conditions like ichthyosis or xeroderma and may lead to fissures and discomfort. Hair and nail changes. Skin diseases can affect the hair and nails, leading to symptoms like hair loss, changes in nail color, pitting, or thickening. Photosensitivity, some skin conditions, like lupus or porphyria, can make the skin more sensitive to sunlight, leading to a worsening of symptoms upon sun exposure. Mucous Membrane Involvement Certain skin diseases also affect mucous membranes, leading to symptoms in areas like the mouth, eyes, and genital regions. Systemic Symptoms In some cases, skin diseases can be associated with systemic symptoms, such as fever, fatigue, or joint pain, especially in autoimmune skin diseases like lupus. How is a skin disease diagnosed? Diagnosing a skin disease typically involves a combination of clinical evaluation, medical history assessment, and sometimes additional diagnostic tests. Here are the steps typically followed by healthcare professionals, especially dermatologists, when diagnosing a skin disease. Medical history. A healthcare provider will start by taking a detailed medical history, including information about the patient's overall health, past skin conditions, family history of skin diseases, medications, allergies, recent exposures to irritants or allergens, and lifestyle factors like sun exposure and skincare routines. This information helps narrow down potential diagnoses. Physical examination. A thorough physical examination of the affected skin is conducted. The healthcare provider will closely inspect the appearance, color, texture, distribution, and any associated symptoms, such as itching or pain, of the skin lesions or abnormalities. They may use a dermatoscope, a handheld instrument with a light source, to examine the skin more closely. Dermatological tests. Dermatological tests may be performed to aid in diagnosis. These can include skin scraping. In cases of suspected fungal or parasitic infections, a sample of skin may be scraped and examined under a microscope. Skin biopsy. A small piece of skin may be removed for examination under a microscope. This is particularly useful for diagnosing conditions like skin cancer or autoimmune disorders. Patch testing. Patch testing involves applying allergens to the skin to identify contact allergens responsible for allergic contact dermatitis. Blood tests. Depending on the suspected diagnosis, blood tests may be ordered. These can include tests to check for specific antibodies, example, in autoimmune diseases like lupus. Markers of inflammation, example, erythrocyte sedimentation rate or C-reactive protein. Or tests for infectious agents, example, PCR for viruses or antibodies for bacteria. Skin allergy testing, in cases of suspected allergies, skin prick tests or blood tests such as the radioallergosorbent test, ROST, may be used to identify allergens that trigger allergic reactions. Imaging, in some cases, imaging studies like ultrasound, CT scans, or MRI may be used to assess deeper skin or soft tissue involvement, particularly in cases of suspected skin cancer or inflammatory conditions. Cultures, if a bacterial or fungal infection is suspected, Cultures may be taken from the affected area to identify the causative microorganism and guide treatment. Patch testing. Patch testing is used to identify allergens responsible for allergic contact dermatitis. By applying suspected allergens to the skin and monitoring the reaction. Skin prick tests. Skin prick tests are used to identify allergens responsible for allergic conditions. 
by introducing small amounts of allergens into the skin through a tiny prick. Specialized tests for specific skin diseases, specialized tests may be required. For example, in cases of suspected porphyria, urine tests for porphyrin levels may be conducted. The combination of the patient's history, physical examination findings, and the results of any diagnostic tests helps healthcare providers make an accurate diagnosis. Once a diagnosis is established, an appropriate treatment plan can be developed, which may include medications, lifestyle changes, topical treatments, or other interventions tailored to the specific skin disease. It's crucial to consult with a dermatologist or a qualified healthcare provider for a proper diagnosis and treatment recommendations, as self-diagnosis and treatment can be ineffective or even harmful in some cases.